welcome back to my channel i am serene and i have been missing for a while but i'm back i genuinely wanted to film because i'm bored and i actually need to get some content out i really have no excuse for why i was missing for so long yeah. I apologize. I apologize. But I've come on here today to do a makeup tutorial. I didn't really have anything that led me to this look. I think I like it. So I'm going to keep it on a bit longer. Obviously, I've done my makeup to go nowhere. But such as like, you know, um, things have to be done. I think it came out really good. I really like the color on me. And normally I try not to go for such dark colors. But I guess with everything that's happened today, maybe dark colors were me because I've had a hell of a day. <laughs> I've had a hell of a day. But nonetheless, thank you guys for watching. Oh, <laughs> thank you guys for watching um, I hope you make it to the end of the video and you enjoy um, the makeup look and the process getting through it this is going to be a voiceover video so after this there won't be any talking there's music in the background and me telling you exactly what I've done hopefully I will try not to make this video too long remember to comment like and subscribe and share it with your friends your family your sister mother brother auntie cousin everybody gets to see me try to create this look and i'll see you in the next video so the palette that i wear using today is the patricia bright palette with her collab with um makeup revolution and the first shade we're using is mod hell so i'm guess that's model and we're just going to use that as our transition color across both lids just so that we have like a seamless um transition into the other colors that we're going to plan on putting on the lids my eyebrows were done before with anastasia beverly hills um pomade in ebony so if you're wondering now there i'm highlighting my um brow bone with the revolution vivid baked bronzer and it's in rock on world and this is literally the only high brow highlight that I usually use. The second shade we're gonna go in with is Miss Call, and it's like a deep dark green, like forest type green. And we're gonna use that in our crease to transition then into our lid color. So I'm using a precision brush because I started using a different brush, it didn't really work out. So this one seemed to work out a bit better. I hope everyone is doing really well. Here you can see that I am blending between the transition color and the crease color just so that there's a seamless transition. The next color we go into on the lid is called Backstage and that looks to be like a tealish type of color and the payoff on that color for sure was very 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 good. Um, I don't know if it's because of the type of brush that I was using and I'm not too sure, maybe I just need to invest in a proper eyeshadow primer so that my colors actually pop, but this color came out really, really well and I really liked it. So this is me just like blending again. I've gone back in with Miss Carl to blend between the crease color and the lid color just so that there isn't any lines left. Now I'm using the NYX eyeliner, oh no, not NYX, ELF <laughs> eyeliner in black. Now, I bought this recently, I like it, but I'm thinking I'm going to go back to the Inglot number 77 because that is like a true, true black. But this elf, the elf one works as well, so it's not too bad. Now, this is where I think I kind of missed the, <laughs> missed the game with it, but it kind of came out okay. I took um, an, a gold eyeliner and lined the black eyeliner on my lids. It looks good but then it looks bad so i wasn't too sure but you know it was already there and i wasn't gonna start over so that's just the way it had to stay but i think it looks okay i guess <laughs> i hope everyone is staying safe now here we go in with the barry m beauty elixir nymph radiant serum sometimes i use this as a primer 
or sometimes I use a primer and this and this is just because I like dewy looking foundations and this is why in an earlier video I said that I was not going to use the Lancome foundation anymore because it's so matte, it's so full coverage, I'm not enjoying it but I use the Lancome foundation and I am in the color 13 if you were looking for a shade match but I'm in the color 13 I'm using the Real Techniques buffing brush to blend that all out Yeah, so I'm just blend, 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 blend. Um, I'm watching Money Heist at the moment, so that's why my eye keeps darting behind. Like, I'm not looking at the camera, so I'm kind of watching television at the same time. Now, I go in and I my highlighter that I'm using is the Makeup Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define. And it is in the color C13. And this is the highlighter I've been using. Um, the problem that I'm having with highlighters right now is that most of the highlighters that I have are kind of my color um, in terms of shade. And then my setting powder is the Laura Mercier Medium Deep. Because of that, I don't get the highlight that I want. So technically, I need to go back to the stores and actually get lighter highlighters if I'm going to use the Laura Mercier powder if not then i'll probably just have to go back to the translucent but you see me there fanning because i let my concealers dry down before i start to if i start to blend them out just so that they don't move and they stay in the area that i want them to stay and you get better coverage that way so yeah i think i'm actually going to go and try and find new concealers obviously when this um coronavirus has calmed down a bit and we're actually allowed to go outside now you can see me setting with the Laura Mercier Medium Deep Powder and the, powder, the, 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 the setting capabilities of this powder is the bomb. I, 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 can, I swear by it, it looks so natural to um, when you set with it, it looks flawless and everything. I just think it's a bit dark. If they had like a color between Medium Deep and Translucent, then I'll probably go for it or something a bit more yellow I guess but not too yellow like the sasha buttercup powder and there you can see me contouring with the sleek translucent loose powder and that is in the color chocolate it's really deep it's really dark if you're my shade then you have like a good contour powder sometimes i just contour with powder i don't want to be bothered with contouring um with anything cream or liquid i only ever contour with cream or liquid when i literally want to be snatched like my face need to be cutting people left, right, and center. <laughs> Here you can see me just buffing out everything, and I don't know if I put any product on that. Usually I don't, but I literally just buff around my face to get a seamless finish between all colors. Here I'm spraying with the Mario Mario Badesco Badesco facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water this is how i set my face on my foundation it's not i don't know it's not really a setting spray but this is what i spray just to get the powdery look away now i'm using the elf liquid eyeliner with the felt tip pen and that is just so that i can put my mold back on my face because obviously the foundation takes it away and i like having the mold there I am now using the e.l.f. blush palette in medium to dark and it's the, the maroon, the maroon, the burgundy color in the palette. That's usually my default blush. If not, I have a sleek blush that is a bit orange and then I use that. But usually, that's the, my default blush color and it works on everything. Sometimes I use it as an eyeshadow, so it's very versatile. I think after now, yes, I am going to highlight my face and I'm using the same bronzer from before, which is the Vivid Big Bronzer in Rock On Wall, the same one that I used to highlight my brow bone. And I'm putting that in my inner eye corner in the teared up area. Now I'm lining my lips with a random brown pencil and I'll be using NYX Lingerie liquid lipsticks and that is in the color 10 i don't i don't know what 10 means oh it's in teddy <laughs> sorry it's in teddy it's in the color teddy 
and it goes on smoothly like it goes on so smooth i swear by nyx lipsticks like all nyx lipsticks i am here for they're really really nice and it's such a nice nude for dark skinned women this is like one of my go-to nude colors even though it's darker than i normally would like because i do like like reds and pinks on my lips but this is good too so this is the finished look i freestyled this look i wasn't really sure what i was going to do coming into this video but i like it i hope you guys enjoyed watching it and you come back for my next video i'm literally gonna film another video like right now because i know i have been gone for a while <laughs> so we can talk about um the rona and everything on netflix because no one else has anything else to do but netflix and chill corona and chill quarantine and chill so thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video bye